The American people are catching on. They understand that there is something profoundly wrong when in our country today, the top one-tenth of one percent owns almost as much wealth as the bottom 90 percent. We have 47 million people in this country living in poverty. That is a higher rate than any other country in the industrialized world. The entire middle class of America in the last 15 years has shrunk by 9%, literally, in terms of income, what they bring in. Half of the homes on this cul-de-sac have been hit with a foreclosure situation. Now the bad news is that the half that haven't been hit yet will be in the near future. Am I going to take buy my prescription drugs I need for medicine or cut back on that and go pay the rent? My mom can't work and my mom can't drive and my mom's sick. We have uh, stress, we have young people neglected because parents are barely able to survive this and the young people themselves are stressed out. Uh, I, my, I go into episodes and they said that it would eventually end up killing me. It is hard feeling like you're going to lose your mother. <clears throat> I want my kids to be better than me. Over 80% of the public, when asked, should the minimum wage be raised, says yes. No one should work full time and still live in poverty. We believe we should raise the minimum wage. The federal minimum wage of seven and a quarter an hour is a starvation wage. It has got to be raised. Oh. We have the highest rate of childhood poverty of almost any major country on earth. I talk about poverty all of the time. I'm like hungry when it's bedtime, but I never ask because I always know I need food for the next day. But it's absolutely unacceptable to allow one-fifth of our children in America to go to bed hungry sometime during the month in the, in the country that produces food for the world. Instead of eating fruits and vegetables, we eat pizzas and stuff. Because that's all we can afford. The American people are catching on. They know that the system is rigged. And coming out of the Great Depression, we put three new regulations in place. Glass-Steagall, which divides our community banks from the Wall Street investment banks, FDIC insurance, and some SEC regulations so you can invest on Wall Street and they can't cheat you too directly. And what these people on Wall Street did is spend billions of dollars trying to deregulate Wall Street, and they got their way. For 50 years, we have no bank failures, no major crises. It works. Wall Street in the last nine years has regained all of its pre-crisis wealth with interest, while Main Street has yet to see a real recovery in so many communities from coast to coast. Madam President, the American people are angry. They are angry because they are living through the worst recession since the Great Depression. Many, many Americans have continued, literally millions, to experience what we would term financial failure. And what the American people are angry about is they understand that they did not cause this recession. This recession was caused by the greed, the recklessness, and the illegal behavior of the people on Wall Street. Those who make peaceful revolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. Again, the situation here is getting out of hand. Rubber butts are flying by me right now as we are speaking. Again, it's going down the flashback right here. They got everything they wanted. 